Welcome back, YouTube. Today, we're going to be watching something even different than before. Today, we're going to be watching from the channel I Did a Thing, and he uploaded a video a little while ago about an underwater shotgun spear fishing. I don't know what that's going to be about, but I was recommended this channel, so we're going to start with the newest video. And yes, YouTube is saying fuck YouTube. YouTube, say fuck Twitch back. You can express express your discontent down in the comments below at how YouTube is con is how Twitch is attacking YouTube. So let me know how you feel about that down in the comments below. But without further ado, let's get into it. Hey Jan, I love spearfishing and I've spent heaps on countless bits of gear. But despite my passion, I'm kind of crap. And my <laughs> ratio of sh I, Do they actually put a sticker on fish like that? Is that a real sticker? I feel like you have to... Do they do that? I don't want a sticker on my fish. Shots taken to fish hit is at best like one out of three. And even when I do hit a fish, like this cobia, which I shot in the back of an eagle ray. Oh my god. Dude, I would have been terrified to hit the little manta ray. I love manta rays. They're my favorite sea animal. Why would you endanger him? I lose them probably half the time. That's a bad ratio. So today, instead of improving my aiming skills, I'm gonna make a double-barreled spear gun that hopefully makes it impossible for me to miss, which will lead me into the gnarliest three-day adventure of my life. Oh my God. That's so beautiful. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Look at them lips! Oh my goodness! Uh, <laughs> I know that's just because of the gear and everything, but it's like, look at how beautiful the surroundings is. And then he turns around. It looks like he's gotten. He, he looks like he ate a bee. It looks like he ate a bee. <gasps> sea turtle. Where I face big ocean currents. Big crazy currents. Yeah. We're not moving find some big fish oh my god and even bigger sharks what big shot. what yeah, where it. it was heading right at you where did you say what it was i couldn't tell from above where like a what all right never mind i take it back i don't want to go spear fishing i take it back look if there's one thing you need to know about me is i hate i i am i'm definitely afraid of the deep ocean I I don't want to go into to 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 waters like that. No, because people will say, "Oh, dude, it's shark infested." No, no, that's the shark's home. I am the home invader. It has every right to attack me. I am literally invading its space. It is it is within its right to attack me. I don't want to mess with that. I don't want to mess with that. Sharks are less dangerous than cows. Yeah, but I don't go near cows either. You know how many cows I've been within danger distance of? Zero. So I'm going to keep that number for sharks also down to zero. I'm going to keep that down. All right, the first thing I did was buy a big piece of wood. And there's debates amongst men in the spear fishing community about their favorite wood to get wet. And most men suggest teak or mahogany as they are high in oils and the wood doesn't expand underwater. But they are both too expensive. So I ignored all the men on the internet and went for this stuff. Black butt. Pure, I happened to his I like the name. fingernail. I have no idea if it will be strong enough or go well underwater. And for the handle of the gun, I'm going to copy the design of my camera gun, as I like the feel in my hand, and I think it will be hilarious to confuse beachgoers by looking like I'm bringing a shotgun in the water to shoot fish. <laughs> so after I sketched out the handle, I started cutting the wood with the jigsaw. Wait, is it actually called a jigsaw? But I, I love that. Problem. Either I don't know how to use a jigsaw, or this wood is too tough. And I cut a random piece of wood to make sure... And it's definitely the wood. YouTube, yes, please leave recommendations for deep water horror in the comments for Ravel. Do not do that. Do not leave recommendations for deep water horror unless you want to see that. Unless you want to see that. My whole body is vibrating. And oh god, now I'm terrified again. First crack. So to stop any more cracks from getting any ideas, I cut that one off and chucked it over the fence to disincentivize any others from appearing. Good, good. You gotta, gotta put in some order. 
So to avoid any more cracks, I decided to use my belt sander to just carve out the whole thing, which is incredibly wasteful as I'm just turning the wood into dust and won't have any usable off cuts. But at least I'm probably gonna inhale half of the wood. So it's not all going to waste. Yeah, yeah. D don't do this. Don't try this at home. Doing the profile, but discovered something else very embarrassing. And I'm going to show you since I know you won't tell any of my other subscribers. I won't. Another crack. <gasps> okay, everybody, this stays. This stays between you and me, okay? Nobody talk about this, all right? We take this to our graves, all right? Nobody do it. Nobody do it. Everyone shush. And I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong, as I've never worked on wood that has cracked this much before. It could be from all the times I dropped the wood on the hard concrete floor. Oh. Or it could be that time I used it as a pinata stick at a kid's birthday. <laughs> oh my god! Rocks? Why? He wasn't even blindfolded. He cheated. He cheated. Ref, I, de I, dema I demand a recount. I demand a redo. Ref, I need an official ruling on this. He, de he deprived that child of having his chance of smacking that, that inanimate object. Rocks! You get rocks! <laughs> but I think more likely, the wood- LMG, is don't tell the other Discord. Cracks, I'm very happy with the shape of the gun. So I drew a line down the middle, which is where the barrels will go. And they're gonna be made out of these carbon fiber tubes. But there's a problem. The spear doesn't fit into the tube. So I need <gasps> to cut a dead straight notch down the whole tube. And to do that, I made this guide so I can pass the tube in front of this Dremel tool. And while cutting carbon fiber, it's extremely important to ignore the manufacturer's recommendation of eating and inhaling the dust. As I've done that a couple of times, and I find it really makes your asshole itch in the morning. All right? I I, he, he's so just dry humor. I can't tell if he's serious or not. I'm sure he's not serious about the asshole part, but is he, is he just inhaling it? Like, just put on a mask. Is, I can't, like, I don't have enough experience to be like, is this a joke or, 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 or is, is it not? Is, is he taking safety measure? Or is he just like, ah, who gives a shit? <laughs> to hide the cracks I just created, I traced around this section where the trigger is going to go, as I want to reinforce it with a steel outer plate. But more importantly, it's going to look cool. And after cutting out the metal... I it's a joke? Okay, so I can inhale it for anymore, safety. As it's shiny. Okay. And instead of cutting out a different kind of metal, I'm just going to stain it with the only gun-related thing I was legally allowed... Is that an apple core? Wait, what's the... There's a gun. Chat, we found a gun. Chat, we found a gun. There's a gun right there. This gun. We found the gun. Gun right there. Gun discovered. What is he doing with that gun? Hmm? What, what's this doing here? Hmm, chat? Why has he got a gun? He's in Australia. Australians can't have guns. That's a joke, Australia. I know that you can. I know that you can. Can this guy have a gun? I don't know. I don't know. Someone report him to the authorities. <laughs> also, he's got an apple core. Wasteful. Wasteful. About to bring back from the States. Cold blue. I'm also hoping it'll add a bit of protection from the rust. But after looking up if it does that, it actually does the opposite. But I've already oh. done it, so we'll find out what happens. What's it? Okay, now comes the most. <laughs> Look it up which first. Is cutting the slot for the trigger mechanisms. <laughs> and I'm pretty scared because my first attempts at making it the trigger hole on scrap wood didn't go that well. Ooh. Because it's double barreled with two spears, I'll have two triggers, which both have to be perfectly in line with each other in order oh. to shoot straight. But I've got another problem. The two identical triggers I ordered aren't the same. They're not it's identical. Just like identical twins, parts of their bodies can be different lengths. And I don't know what else to do besides cutting off the trigger and then rewelding it. Ow. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Uh, okay, wait, wait, wait. So, I'm assuming he's going to put a mechanism in, in this so that they are both pulled when he pulls one. Because, like, when you pull, doesn't your finger kind of curve? in a way that it's going to pull one of the triggers before the other one? Like, you're, unless you pull back your entire body or your entire arm so it goes back to simultaneously hit them. Or is, is that how double barrels usually work, that there are two triggers? Or, or not? Like, I've never shot a double barrel before. So I, I, my experience, my inexperience is showing. But I, I see an issue with this. But I'm sure he can, he can work around that. Or may you know, or or not? I don't know. He he's he's the experienced one here, not me. And the welding industry wants you to think that you can't weld stainless steel with MIG, or that you need to buy special welding wire. But they're lying to you, and this seemed to come out fine, at least for now, until it rusts in the water. And somehow I got it pretty perfect. 
Oh, wow, that's really support. good. And I did that using a router, a tool I've always been way too scared to use ever since my mate Rowan cut the tip of his finger off. But my finger- Oh my God. Than Rowan's, so I should just miss the end of the cutting bit. And I don't know the correct what? method. What? What is I this? I just plunged it into the hole and then gently moved it around, trying not to go out of my lines. Then I drilled some oh, holes that's pretty cool. all the way through and tidied up the trigger slot and put in the trigger mech. All right, I've stuffed up again. If the spears are lying flat on the wood, they slide nicely into the triggers. But when I put the spears in the carbon fiber barrels, they don't fit. Shoot. This is too high. So either I'm gonna have to raise the triggers up or cut rails for the carbon fiber tubes in the wood, which I'm just gonna pretend I wanted to do the whole time as it will also give me more surface area for the glue that I'm gonna use later. So I can- Yeah, that makes sense. The yeah. And now I think- That seems like a good idea. Fucking hell. Oh. Next, I cut some holes for the rubbers, and I want to use twin 16 mil rubbers. And for the Americans, it's about the same thickness as your average Midwestern cock. Which wait, 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 why, why Midwestern? Look, over here, over here in the South, we have giant girthy dicks, okay? So, like, I can't relate, I can't relate to that. But is it true about what they say about what he said about the Midwestern Americans? Because I'm not in the Midwest, I'm over here on the, the Southeast. You know, we've got giant cocks. Like, like they're so massive that we have to give it, like, its own separate pants leg. So, I, I, I don't know if this is true. Let me know if, uh, if you suffer from tiny dick syndrome like that. Yeah, Roger, we're watching I Did a Thing. You know, just let me know. Because, you know, I can't relate to that. Like, right now, my huge, girthy, throbbing cock is, like, wrapped over my shoulder right now. It's just how massive it is. So, I can't relate. Spear has the power. Of don't look, don't look at me. I'm in Latin America. Here we take up two seats. Yeah, see, okay. Well, say, say, same, same LMG. Yeah, same. You know, it's 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 real big dick problems. If if you know, you know, if you know, you know. But you know, those Midwesterns, they they've got it easy, I guess. Can't say anything about mine, but lived in the Southeast for 24 years of my life. Okay, yeah, because you know, I'm I'm sure you also have a giant cock. Big dick energy. 16 mil rubber, which in my experience is more than enough. But I don't really know how thick the wood needs to be to support that much power. So that's another thing that could break. And this gun looks pretty nice. Besides, my That looks really good. All over it. So I sanded it all down and also removed some more wood to hide the cracks that I had created. And then gave it a clear coat of epoxy, which will hopefully stop the water from getting in and making those cracks bigger and also make it look prettier. <laughs> And I picked this epoxy spray specifically because it was the only thing I had in this crack behind the shelf in my garage. That looks all right. Okay, after letting the epoxy dry nice and hard, I then scraped the epoxy back off so that the glue I'm gonna use will stick strongly to the wood. And some of you are probably thinking that I could have just put masking tape over these areas while spraying the epoxy so I don't have to do double the amount of work. And you'd be right. Yeah. For the glue for the barrels, I sampled a lot of different kinds. Who's this guy? Number one, you ready? Is his brother? Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> that is horrible. Horrible. Right, Ew. Two. Number two. Yeah, go, go. What do you think he's actually using? Oh, they're actually pretty good. Oh, you want to spit it out? Yeah, I, think I like that one. That's like. What do you think he's using instead? Very good woodwork for what it is? Yeah, it's very good. What, what, what do you think he used? Yogurt? Okay, that's smarter than what I was going to say. I was going to say, like, putting, like, <laughs> milk, but with a bunch of weird, like, a, a bunch of, <laughs> a bunch of, like, icing inside of it. That's what I was thinking. Yogurt is so much smarter. <laughs> Yogurt is so much smarter. I was like, what do you do? You just get some milk, and then you just put it in, put in a bunch of plain icing inside of it, and then you mix it up. That would taste terrible. Yeah, why, yeah, yogurt's like way smarter on <laughs> undead. Oh fuck! Or it could just be real glue. I don't know. Maybe he's very committed to the craft. Like that one. Like that one. And by far my favorite was this one, sixty nine epoxy. Oh, nice. Despite the name, I really wouldn't recommend using for that position. So I glued the carpet. I'm gonna do it. Don't you tell me what to do. I'm very glad I picked this. That's Alexis. That oh, an who's that? Working time and 24 hours drying time. As it probably took me over an hour to get everything down and straight and in line with each other. And then I just. Why's he got to be straight? Why can't it be gay, huh? Please dry properly. <laughs> Why'd I say that? In place. I'm not getting that off. 
Next, I'm gonna do something I've never seen on spear guns and put things on the front, which I'm trademarking and calling shark pokers. As we quite often see sharks while spearing, and sometimes you have a nice sharp spear to poke them away with. But most of the time, I find the sharks come in after you have shot the fish, and then you no longer have a spear. So this still gives me a way to poke them and always remain protected while in the Oh my God, well in the stay water. away. And speaking of protection, let me tell you an even better way to protect yourself than shark pokers. <gasps> VPN! Which is fully featured for privacy, security, and protects everything you do online. And it's also faster and smarter than any of the other browsers I've used and was really helpful while making this video. I absolutely love the features. The trigger! Like Aria, an inbuilt browser AI, which is easily accessible in the sidebar and gives you clear answers instantly for whatever you want to know. Also, the huh. highlight tool allows me to highlight anything online, and then Aria gives me a brief explanation. This is this is so cool, but it is also terrifying. <laughs> like th things are advancing so fast. Like I wasn't one of those people that when AI started to be like a thing people talked about, I wasn't caught off guard. Like I I was following its development before everyone was like, oh dude, what the fuck is ChatGPT? It's like what you hadn't heard about this thing, or even before that. But this, it's still like so fast that we're just like an inbuilt AI to help you with all this stuff. Like, wow. Wow. Oh, he's just a friend. Okay. It's, this is, I need to, someone remind me at the end of this stream, someone remind me, and also YouTube, you remind me to download, uh, to download Opera GX. Download Opera GX. I read somewhere today that the DOD is using AI to scan for certain keywords. I could believe it. I would believe it. I believe it. Did you hear that AI, when it was like browsing for nudity, it would constantly flag uh, sand dunes as nudity? And you're like, oh, that sounds stupid. But have you ever looked at a sand dune before? There's a lot of pictures of sand dunes that looks like a, a very curvy woman laying on her side. So I kind of get it. But the AI needs to be improved. But I, but I get what they were looking at. Because some of those sand dunes are thick. An overview of the topic. Also, when you download Opera, you get your own island. Wow. What? Islands, which sorts my tabs by relation, so you don't have to have 30 tabs open at once, which makes that's my browser so good, though. and easier to use. I also regularly use the free VPN Wait. and ad blocker, which is Wait. built into the browser. You, you actually, you, when you tried that, you shared a picture of a beach and you got hit by a Discord's auto sensor? Oh my god. Discord, fix your fucking AI. Let me share sexy pictures of beaches. So you can browse securely, so you can block ads whenever you want, which is incredibly useful. I also love this video pop-out feature, which means you can detach videos and keep watching them while browsing and doing other stuff, which allows me to do more things. Oh my God, oh my God, I need to get this. my ADHD. So go download Opera using the link in my description to get the most useful, safest, and fastest browser. All right, back to the shark pokers. And the pokers also act as a wraparound point for the line that is connected to the spear. And that's something I haven't explained to you yet, the line release. I need a line attached to the spear, otherwise the fish just run away with the spear when you shoot them. And most Makes spear sense. have a little hook on the side that the line wraps around, which will release when you shoot. However, I don't want to <laughs> Sand put dunes on each hot. side of the gun, as it seems annoying, and a tangle risk. And also the triggers I bought didn't come with them. So my next idea was to use some of these money clips that I have because I'm a rich YouTuber, which I would attach to the side. And then the line would clip into- That's pretty like smart. In that's very ingenious. However, I reckon I've discovered a better way. And I'm really confused why no one in the spearfishing industry does this. I can just place one end of the line around this and then loop it over the fin of the spear, which will release when I shoot. And this is so simple and removes so many moving parts, but the spear could also just tangle and bounce back and yeah. hit me. Okay, then I attach the rubbers and if you watched my last video you'll know that i'm not okay does do rubbers mean the same thing that they do in england because i'm not i'm not giggling like a school girl whenever he says uh whenever he says rubbers because i'm american and we call condoms condoms but in england if i'm not mistaken they call them rubbers so is this like a joke for for that community do australians call condoms rubbers they do okay so so this is a joke that I'm like, I, I was assuming it was a joke for them, but it was going over my head because it's like, we don't call them, we don't call them rubbers, we call them condoms. So, okay, just make it sure. Just be, I want to make sure I'm cultured, you know? I want to make sure I'm getting all of the jokes. I want to make sure I'm fully appreciating the craft of this video that they made. Not the best at tying spear gun rubbers. So this time, 
I'm gonna tie exactly the same knot. And just before giving this a test shot, I thought of something. When I pull the rubbers back and place it over the spears, they are most likely gonna be forced together like this, and they might jam in the trigger mech. So to hopefully mm. stop that, I just took out some rubber washers from my car engine. I don't think yeah, who needs those? Anything. And then place Yeah, don't do anything. Which should keep the spears from pressing together. All right, it's time for the first test shot. And technically, it's not legal for me to shoot this while I'm not in the water, but- Wait, is that true? Is, so he he's doing the Davy Jones uh method. He's doing the loophole of Davy Jones. If you've ever seen Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, Davy Jones is not allowed to set off, set onto land, except for like once every, I don't know, 10 years or something like that. So when they, in the movie, when they were going to have it where they the Pirates and Davy Jones were like forming an alliance or, or parlaying or something, Davy Jones came onto land, but he's inside of a bucket of, of seawater. He's, that's how he got around him. He's just sitting in a bucket, standing next to these two other pirates. <laughs> so technically, you know, in a court of law, he's, he's not breaking the law. He's in water right now. I think I found a loophole. Yeah, exactly. They used a row of buckets, so he technically didn't step on land. Wait. Which, by that method, why doesn't he wear, like, those those platform shoes that pimps would wear? And they had, like, water and fish inside of it? Could he just walk around on land with those platform shoes that hold the seawater for him? And they failed to push him over at that moment? Yep. Because yeah, they were being honorable. They were being honorable. Just like the average VTuber and stepping outside, we're not allowed to do that. We're not allowed to. We must stay inside. VTubers going outside, we burn to a crisp like a vampire. Yes, Chicken, we're going to be playing uh, Half-Life after this. Oh. oh my god. And after retying all the rubbers, I had another go. This is terrifying. Chat, don't look at those. Don't, don't look at this woman. Chat, whatever you do, don't look at this. Don't. Got it. Got it. Hang on. Got to censor this for, for modesty. Okay. Don't look over there. Don't do it. Okay. You can't look at that. Censored. Censored. I have to get rid of it though. <laughs> don't, just don't look over there. I, I, I trust you. I trust you. Don't look over there. Three, two, one. Oh my God. I think she's dead. I think her boobs are dead. Oh no, the boobs are intact. She's fine. Yeah. Like that could have like got into the yes, garage. And I'm very happy with that shot. Both the spears came out at exactly the same time. Wait, how does this improve his aim again? And the power seemed like heaps. And that was only with one rubber. But the spears will be moving a lot slower in the water. Also, the cracks could get bigger. The triggers might not go off at the same time. And then the spears will unlodge in a catastrophic way. Oh, and the wood might be too heavy or too buoyant underwater. All of which I'll only find out once I get in the water. Double the bullets, double the chance of hitting it right? If they're far apart, but if they're not, you know. Oh, damn. Damn, he's ripped. Well, he's not ripped, but he, he is. He is well, well built. He's got that swimmer body. He's got that swimmer body. The big iron on his head. Now I want my spearing spots to remain secret so you guys don't just come there and mass kill every single fish. Which is why I'm going to try and not show any recognizable locations. Yep, I have no idea. This could be anywhere. Dude, this might not even be in Australia for all I know. Oh no, he's hot! No, the big iron. And after meeting up with my other mate, we headed out to get some fish. And obviously, as this is a video about me making a spear gun, I am going to be shooting fish. But don't worry, all the fish I shot were pedophiles. And we're oh, good. A pretty remote good. island. Ch Not enough people talk about that chat. Like, eighty-five percent of the fish community are pedophiles. Eighty-five percent of the fish 
in the sea right now are pedophiles. Why, why don't we just nuke the ocean? It's, this is, it is an epidemic down there. So, you know, I'm glad he's cleaning up it. I'm glad, you know, the police are not taking the action that they need to. All of those fish, like, have you ever wondered, it's like, dude, those fish, they love seeing those little kids on the beach. They love it. Yeah, the dolphins, dolphins, they're not just pedophiles. They're like rapists, too. Dolphins, disgusting creatures like that. Too smart. They're way too smart. So I'm glad he's taking, oh, wait, dolphins aren't fish. Fuck. Damn it. Never mind. Well, still, but the dolphins, but don't shoot the dolphins because people get mad at you if you do that. Don't do that. Also, they will hold a grudge, I bet. Careful around them. Careful around them. Chain six hours south of Sydney. And we've been here before and know that the area can be pretty rough. And with big swells... That's forecast, beautiful, though. ...to stick in the shallows, which would give me the opportunity to test out the gun and get my aim in on some smaller fish. Right, I'll see you in the water. Don't hurt it! No! I love the manta rays. <laughs> so are there like certain fish he goes for? I've never been spear- Is that a- that's a sea turtle. I thought that was an eel. Look at how well camouflaged that is. Look at what this turtle- Look at how well camouflaged that beauty is. Look at the sea urchins! Dude, hash, dude, shout out to, uh, to my friend, Freddy the Fish. Hey, Freddy, if you're watching this, if you're watching this, there's a ton, a ton of sea urchins right here. Go collect them. Sea urchins are used in that game as currency. So, Freddy the Fish, go up to, uh, to Sydney. Get yourself some, uh, get yourself some, uh, some sea urchins on me. But that is beautiful. That is beautiful. It was doing. At first, I thought it was just dead, as it wasn't moving and its head was squished under the rock. But I think it was just sleeping or trying to get a feed or something. So after waking it up, I got on the hunt for some fish. And why'd you wake up that poor do that poor dolphin, that poor that poor turtle? That's the word, yeah, turtle. I'm doing a shallow dive to around three meters, ten feet, as I saw a school of Luderick in the distance. And Luderick are usually pretty easy to hunt, but sometimes they can get skittish. And that's probably what happened as they saw me dive down, and then I couldn't get close enough to get a shot off. What is he sh I don't even see what he's shooting at. So I went out a little deeper and dove to around 7 meters or 22 feet, and found a big group of red morwongs. Where? I'm literally blind. Where's the fish? Red morwongs are just one of those fish. Oh, you almost feel there bad are. for shooting as they are a super easy shot and they just sit there staring at you with their big eyes. And in the background, I spotted one that looked around 40 centimeters, the perfect eating size. Hmm. Where is it? Where? Dude, he's got such good vision. But I still missed. Wow. And then I found out the first It's a failure. This gun. There's twice as many spears to tangle on stuff. Oh, shoot. And another problem I'm feeling is that the gun is super heavy in the water and it sinks really fast, which is making it really awkward to move around. So I reset the spears, which probably takes four times longer than a normal gun, and took another dive. And on the way down- This is very fascinating to see. Has anyone here ever been spearfishing? This seems like it would be very relaxing. Assuming that I don't see any sharks, because immediately once I see something that scares me, I'm getting the fuck out of there. Oh, thank you for the follow. Thank you, thank you, Twee. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the rave cave. Down, found a hole that I thought an octopus would be in. Dude, don't attack octopuses. And yes, if you're an if you are an English speaking person, the plural for octopus is octopuses. Okay, it's not octopi, I think that's Roman or Greek, I can't remember. But in English, it is octopuses. It is octopuses. Octopuses are delicious, yeah, but they're super smart. I, I feel bad about attacking something that's like so smart though. No, not octopussy. Not octopussy, don't, don't you search that. You'll get some weird results that'll probably be just some hentai. Don't look into that. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> but don't attack them. They're so smart. Like, really, I love octopus. They're, they're, they are or octopuses. They are such smart creatures. They are such smart creatures. Is octopi? Hang on. Chat, it, it, YouTube, if you want to skip forward, do it. I'm just going to Google if it's octopus or octo, o, o, octopi. Is it 
octopuses or octopi. Grammatically speaking, the plural of octopus is octopuses. While octopi has become a popular modern usage, it is wrong. Right there, chat. Right there. Boom. Fucking destroyed with facts and logic. Call me Ben Shapiro because I don't know how to satisfy my wife, but also because I destroyed you with facts and logic. Boom. <laughs> Where is it? But no one was home. No. Nope. But I did find this big school of blackfish, which are delicious. Wow, he's gonna shoot the blackfish? Racist. And I missed again. And for some wow. reason, us Australians always have the most racist names for fish. We got blackfish, Jewfish, Chinaman leather jacket. And if you think those fish. I can, I, I can believe the Jewfish. I can believe that one. I can believe that. Is, the, is that last one that he said real? How, are they real? I can't tell. He, the, he, I love that he has no inflection on any of his, like, jokes. So it's impossible for me to know. Yes? Okay, chicken, you are Australian, so I'll believe you. Wow. Why did, you, why did people name fish like this? If you're Ben Shapiro, uh, I'm going to need my sub money back. No, it's non-refundable. Uh, not, 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 uh, non-refundable. Uh, me, Ben Shapiro. Um, uh, no, uh, uh, actually, uh, if you read the, the fine text, uh, there is, there is no refund policy. Uh, so, um, uh, get destroyed, liberal. Uh, get destroyed. Fish have racist names. You should look up what Luderick used to be called. And this gun is- I'm not Googling that on YouTube. Water. I can't turn it at all. And at this point, after missing so many times, I was desperate to get something for dinner. And even decided I was happy with something small. So I dove again with the plan of shooting a saw tail. A what? That's not racist sounding. And I'm making these grunting noises in a poor attempt to attract fish closer, as hopefully they'll think I'm drowning and come over to save me. What? What? Where was he even aiming? I didn't even see him. Now looking back at the footage, I wasn't even pointing at the fish. So yeah. I'm definitely having trouble lining up the gun. All right, so I had scared a lot of fish in this spot, so he moved it. Okay, so, so, okay, looking, looking at him, lo looking at, at where he's aiming, he's not, like, looking down the sights? Is that a common thing with, the uh, with these types of, uh, like, these spear guns? Because, you know, when I think of a gun, I think of, like, putting it up to my eye, or putting it near my eye so that I can look down the sights and aim. But here, it looks like he's shooting from, not necessarily the hip, but from his, like, the center of his chest, and he's not really looking down at it. How is he supposed to properly line it up if he's not? You know, making sure he's lining up the back and front end of it that is perf perfectly straight and is pointing right at the uh, the thing. Because that's how my dad, when he first shot a gun, he he would be like, oh, it, lo it looks like the front of the gun is pointing at what I'm shooting at. But then the back of the gun is like pointed too high or pointed too low and then he completely misses. How is How do you do it with a spear gun? Into different water and did some deeper, longer dives at around 12 meters or 40 feet. Now for this dive, I want you to hold your breath with me and see how far you make it. Okay, okay? here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, here we go. 2, 1. <gasps> Are you doing it, chat? I shouldn't have said anything. I'm still doing it. I'm still going. One minute. I couldn't do it. <sighs> I couldn't do it. 
couldn't do it. I couldn't, I couldn't do it anymore. Oh. How is he holding his breast like this? I can only hold my breath for like a slightly over a minute. I did talk a little bit, so that, that was it. Hey, welcome Riv, welcome Riv. And breathe. And if you managed to hold your breath for that long, good work. And if you didn't, and you've now blacked out in front of your computer, even better. Please remain that way for the rest of the video, and then let my other videos keep auto-playing after. Yep, that's... Dude, he's cracked the algorithm. He's cracked the al algorithm. All you gotta do, all you gotta do is just not, uh, it's just to have your audience literally be comatose at the TV screen and then auto plays. No joke though, that's why a lot of the essay channels, they get, they, they, their, their algorithm or the videos are pushed by the algorithm because a lot of people will like to fall asleep to them and they're maybe like two hours long and then people have autoplay on and they fall asleep to it and then their next video or their other videos will then be playing and they, the, the person who's listening is asleep. They don't even hear the video and then boom, boom. They're just like, it's go, they, they, they just get a view and nobody even watched it and they watched it in its entirety. Watched it in that entirety. Yes, chicken, it worked. And on this dive, I'm attempting to go full stealth mode and made my body as flat as possible on the bottom and then used boulders as cover and then used my hands to crawl along trying to get closer to the school of lettering. I don't know why I thought that they had like oxygen tanks. <laughs> I have no idea. Ooh, so that looked like it hit. Again. Damn it. And again. And there are a lot of problems with this gun. The biggest one being how hard it is to move around underwater. And I need to press it up against my shoulder to move it properly, which makes it incredibly hard to aim. And after missing this much, the weather turned to shit. So Ooh. we called it a day. That looks terrifying. I mean, day one I learned gun misses a lot. And day two, we woke up early and the swell was looking super flat. And even before we got in the water, <gasps> we could see a shark from the house on the drone. Wow. So I ran down to the water and jumped in and it was a big nurse shark just cruising for some food. And after taking the drone back up, we also spotted a hammerhead shark, a pot of dolphins chilling in the shallows. This is lovely. This is lovely. Hey, Ryan, this is beautiful. Uh, all all of those dolphins though all of those dolphins are are uh all, will will definitely sexually harass you if given the chance so be careful around them don't go near them that's not be that's that's just true that's just true dolphins are freaks dolphins are freaks big freaks. schools of rays and these mysterious fast moving objects which were either big fish or sharks and we hoped this meant it would be a fishy day and today we decided to head out a kilometer offshore to the islands. As the I welcome was lower, Dot. And we know from last time when we were here that it's where the bigger fish hang out. But as soon as we got the boat past the... Okay, am I also the only person who really loves... It? This is called Overcast, right? Can you go near dolphin VTubers? No, they're even hornier. You've combined the horniness of a dolphin and the horniness of a VTuber and you've mixed it together? No, you're, you're going to die. You're going to die from snoo snoo. If you want to do that, go near them, but careful. But, but am I the only person who loves Overcast? Like, I, I love rain. I love rain. I love gray skies at times. It just looks really beautiful and calming. It's lovely. I, I just, I think this is a beautiful sight. Rain is great, exactly. Okay, I'm not the only one. Like, if it rained 24-7, yeah, I'd be upset by it. But like having a nice rainy day, a, spe oh, a rainy night, oh my god. Uh, not like a thunderstorm necessarily, but just a, a drizzling, a, a drizzle day that you can hear the tippy tapping on the window seals from all the, all the water. So nice. 
so nice. Headlands into more open water, the weather got worse, and the water was looking eerie. And Rain is annoying to you? Part of me wanted to you know, in. different so strokes for different folks. All right, you're in the water first this time. <laughs> I did it first last time. All right, now you turn on the engine, you abandon him. Fucking Berkey as fuck. Is it? Yeah. Fuck. And the water was disgusting. And we were in about 20 meters of water. Oh God, I can't see. Can this is terrifying. Three meters in front of us. Get, get me out of here. Get me out of here. Islands, and I made a dive. Shark could come out of nowhere. My GoPro was broken as I was diving past 10 meters, but I didn't realize. So I was just swimming around like an idiot trying to film stuff. But luckily we have my mate's perspective that barely captures what happens. I managed to get my first fish, a massive black drummer. Oh yeah, we just have to take his word at it. He totally got it, guys. And I guess I could be lying as you didn't actually see the shot and I could have just shot an already dead fish that we planted there earlier, but I was yeah. ecstatic to get a fish with the gun. That's what he did. And That's a hundred percent. It hundred percent. He took the extra time and effort to find a dead fish, grab it, plant it, stab it. Totally, totally, definitely. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. It was big uh, as well, weighing in at 3.5 kilos. What's that in freedom so units After though? putting the fish in the boat, we jumped back in, in a slightly different spot, and the visibility got increasingly worse, and so did the current. But even with the worst conditions and being barely able to stay in one spot, my mate managed to shoot a leather jacket with the most unnecessary gangster grip I've ever seen. <laughs> but while he was getting the fish on the float line, we were unknowingly- Ew, that- what was that? What? Wait, go back. But while he was- That fish looks- Disgusting. Am I the only one that thinks that? Also, welcome dot. I already said welcome. Sorry. Uh, it, it doesn't this look kind of gross? Like he didn't even do a three sixty no scope. All he did was just point and shoot. I gotta see some trick shots in here, and I gotta see the MLG weed symbols pop up on screen. Come on, what is this? Not gonna lie, I don't think I'd look pretty when a shot with a spear gun either. You know what? That's fair. But don't you wish you were? Don't you wish that you would? Like, you know, hey, when I die, I want to make sure I'm looking fucking sexy as hell. What are you expecting from a fish glowing fins and shiny scales? Yeah. Yeah, I would appreciate if the fish that I'm killing would be nice and gussied up for, you know, the, the, the dinner table. It'd be real nice if they did that. Thank you. I would appreciate that. Getting the fish on the float line, we were on. Looks like it has lips. Looks like it has D, uh, DL. We did finally look up, the boat was like DSL. Looks like it has DSL, if you know what that is. Yeah, we're gonna head back that way. Where's the boat? And it's so hard to know how strong the currents are pulling you when the visibility is bad, as we don't have an underwater reference point. So I thought we were floating in one spot as I was watching a school of fish and keeping up with them. But it turns out those fish were also moving in the current. God, I can't see anything. Yeah. We're not moving. I mean, let's just try to get hard to it. And we swam against the current for like 10 minutes, but it barely moved. And I don't know if you can tell from this footage, but this current was ripping. Yeah, this is, this is so, I don't, this is scary. This is scary. I don't like this. Like, I, they're not going anywhere. And realized we were in a bit of trouble. We're not moving. We have a bit. We'll be hard that rock before. Where's the boat? Our knight in shining armor arrived. We didn't realize how strong this car is. <laughs> Where's the boat? And then he just runs them over. Yeah, currents are terrifying. This beautiful bloke named Michael, who picked me up on his jet ski and took me back to the boat. And you know what? I'm very glad I didn't drown, as I'm pretty sure drowning and dying is against YouTube's monetization policy. And I really it is. Unfortunately, it is. Monetized. But my mate was still in the water. But luckily my mate was calm about the whole being swept out to sea thing and decided to make the best of it and reload his gun and shoot some fish while waiting to be picked up. Yeah, you know what they say, a drowning man never wants to go down alone, so he's going to take down a fish with him. Makes sense. 
But unfortunately, Brawl comes over, says skill issue, and then leaves. Kingfish, <laughs> probably around the 85 centimeter mark, came in and had a good look at him before disappearing into the gloom. And even though he didn't shoot one, it's really good to know they were in the area. Then Michael came just in time before he was swept in between the two islands and took him back to the boat. Michael, oh. if you're watching, we love you. All right, after that sketchy experience, we decided to call it a day and had some delicious black drummer ceviche for dinner. Oh. Yeah. And I woke up. I'm not a big fan of fish. Fish. Not just for the video, but just to eat, as we had been living off rations for the last two days. So we headed out on the boat to the calm spot from the first day and just decided to stay in the water until we got something good. And on my first dive, I dove to around 27 feet and spotted a nice size sweet lips. Sweet lips? And it didn't want to get close. That sounds super sexual. Let me see it. I want to see the sweet lips. I want to see the sweet lips. What is ceviche? It, it looked like kind of like sushi, but not sushi, obviously. It just looked like the fish part of sushi. And it also seemed to be hiding behind a big blue groper, which we aren't allowed to shoot. So I waited for the blue groper to move out of the way and then missed. And that's it. <laughs> I'm done. I'm missing even more with this gun than my normal one. And it's so frustrating to use. So now I'm just going to focus on catching dinner and having a nice time. So I grabbed my old gun. Nice. As you should. Just do what, do what you have fun with. Yeah, I think it's coming back. <laughs> I stepped right on the sea edge. <laughs> <laughs> and because I broke my GoPro, I don't have my point of view of what happened next, but luckily my mate still recorded enough of it. I was breathing up on the surface in around six meters of water while my mate was untangling his gun. And in comes a three meter or 10 foot shark. And my mate oh, oh, geez. and stays calm and just watches it. But for some reason, yep, just watch. he doesn't tell me it's nearby and lets me dive to the bottom right next to it. Then when <laughs> I get to the bottom, I only spot the shark when it's like four feet away from me at eye level. And I got the- f Wait, 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 wait. Why is he using feet now? Why, why is he, why is he using feet? D d don't Australians use, uh, like meters? Is it because it, most of his audience is American or do they use feet over there? And I was wrong. They use both. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Bro was too scared to use meters. Dude, you ever get so scared you lose the metric system? You ever get just so scared the fear of God makes you go, what the fuck is a meter? What the fuck is a kilometer? You ever get that scared? Because that's America every day. <laughs> Part of my life. And then did Welcome back, not Pin. Meant to do and freak out and immediately swam to the surface. Yeah, I just saw it. It was heading hmm. right at you. Did you see what it was? I couldn't tell from above. It looked like a white. Yeah, it did look like a white. But a lot of time. Aren't, aren't there aren't there a lot of sharks that are smaller, but they kind of just look like great whites? Because great whites, they are they can be huge, right? Wait, is there a difference between like a white shark and a great white shark? Are they different? Because I, I don't know much about sharks. I know like the lemon shark. I know the tiger shark. I know the hammerhead shark. Uh, I know the whale shark and then the great white shark. But I don't know. If there's like a different, if there's like a white shark and there's a great white. Great whites are big, yes. Is there a white shark? Because he said it looked like a white. Because it did. It looked like the shape of a great white shark. <laughs> a white shark is lower class. A great white has money. <laughs> they're not actually called great for, they're not called great for nothing. That's fair. Okay, so now I know. is The, the difference between the, the white and the great white, great white is how much money is in their bank account. Got it. Thank you. Thank you, Snow. I thought it was a great white. It was in the murk and I could just see gray and then white on the bottom of the shark. But after seeing this footage, I think it's more likely a dusky whaler. Still a big shark though. So after seeing the shark, we did a couple- Fish more is fish. And my mate took this sleeping morwong. It's sleeping? Dude. And some other fish. And then as we were swimming back- That poor fish, he was just trying to sleep. The greatest thing that's ever happened to me in the water happened. 
We were both on the surface and I saw these little fish dart away, so I knew something big was coming in. Oh, oh, what's that? Oh my God. And then <gasps> two massive kingfish. And without even thinking, I took a top down shot directly into the spine of the fish. Wow, and, and that's, that's like, down to and that's like the hardest way to shoot the fish, if I'm not mistaken, like doing it from the top down. I guess technically harder would be front facing or back facing, but from the top down, that's where they're the thinnest. So that is a tough shot to get, and he landed it. Good for him. Wow. Wow. Oh, there is also the goblin shark. Those are terrifying. Dude, that was good. Dude, that shit, that, that, that fish didn't even know what was hitting him. Shoot the other one, but in his excitement, knocked his goggles half off, letting water into his eyes. Or at least that's the excuse he told me, and he missed. Oh. But my fish was on and it seemed to be a good holding shot. And I knew this fish was big, but I didn't realize how big it was until I tried to pull it to the surface and I couldn't. And I was very lucky that my shot must have nicked its spine. I'll get it in for you. As kingfish this size have more than enough power to pull all your gear down and tangle up on the bottom. But luckily I was managing to control the fish and stop it from doing that. But while I was doing this, I then began to think about the big shark we just saw and worried it was going to come in and eat the fish. Before oh yeah, sharks will scavenge. There was nothing else I could do but wait until my mate had reloaded for a second shot. And if you've ever gone spearfishing, you'll know that there is no slower feeling in the world than trying to reload your gun while there's good fish around. And it took him a whole one minute 30 to do. Also, the other kingy he just missed was still swimming around taunting him. But eventually he reloaded and dove down for a second shot. Do you want me to second shot or go for the other one? Probably just second shot. Yep, yeah, second shot makes sense. Second shot makes sense. Take, put it out of its misery as well. Just fucking just take it out. Look at that shot he made. Wow. Oof. Oh, that poor fish. He's like, why are you doing this to me? Stop it. That's a monster. And the whole idea of me making the double-barreled gun was to not have to need a second person or a second shot in situations like this. But you know what? I am very glad I didn't have the double-barreled spear gun on me, as I definitely would have missed this fish. And eventually the fish got tired enough and we managed to pull it up to me. And only now, when I tried getting my arms around the fish, did I realize oh my how God. it was. It was almost the length of my mate. Jeez. That is huge. That fish is terrified, I bet. Oh yeah, they're gonna eat the fish. They're hungry. They, they haven't eaten. I've never seen a fish this big before. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Fucking giant. My shot wasn't bad. And this wow. is definitely gonna be enough fish for dinner. So we headed in. And on the way, we grabbed some abalone, or as I call them, vaginas of the sea. What? Why? And then weighed the kingfish. And it came in at 22 kilos and 136 centimeters, which is four foot four or 50 pounds. I forgot how big it was already after you just pulled it out again. She is just too big for the cooler. The See, now this would be my least favorite part of getting a fish to eat is having to uh, having to, you know, do all the prep work for you to be able to eat it. Th this this would be the least fun part. <laughs> oh, God, look. Look at it all. Ugh. Oh, that looks good. That does not look good. Big old bowl of vagina. I'd like to say Grace. There are big ships. Oh, look at the baby. There are small ships. There are ones that sail the sea. But the best ships are friendships like the ones between you and me. Oh, look at the baby. And after the success of this double-barreled spear gun, I've decided I don't want it. And whoever finds it first gets it. Just please don't shoot yourself or anyone with it. The coordinates is, is to he... its location are hidden somewhere in this video. What? What? Hey, welcome, Zero. <laughs> look, he made it on land. But it just ends. It just ends. What the heck? 
Oh, wait, he was the one who, he was in the group that went into, like, the secret base in the Australian Outback? Oh. All right, chat, and if, if anybody can go and get that, uh, let me know. Let me know if anyone finds that spear gun, and don't shoot yourself with it. They taste amazing, though. I bet. I bet. Mm, dude, now I'm hungry. Now I'm hungry. Now I'm hungry. Yeah, okay, everybody, everybody get it out. Everybody in Twitch, get out your, your anxiety to YouTube. Say fuck YouTube if you want. And, uh, and YouTube, remember to say fuck Twitch back in the comments down below. Also, I hope you enjoyed this video with me. If you want more of I Did a Thing, let me know as well. And uh, if you want, consider joining the Discord and coming by the stream live. We always watch some stuff beforehand, and then we do some gaming. So if, uh, if you're interested, links are in the description and in the comment for the pinned comment. It should be down there. But until next time, I hope you all had a wonderful rest of the day. And until next time, I, I, I fucked it up. You, you know what? You know what? Have a good rest of your day. I fucked up the ending. I fucked up the ending. Sorry. Bye.